we'll just go ahead and get started. So find your way into child pose, please. Bring your big toes together at the back of your mat. Open your knees wide and let's stretch the arms nice and forward. Rest your forehead here on your mat. And just close your eyes. If that feels good, you can go ahead and just fall right into your breath. If you're comfortable with it, perhaps maybe find Ujjayi. Or just begin to slow your breath down. Begin to really feel your body here. Feel that breath move. Begin to lengthen your exhales. And begin to draw that breath even further into your lungs. Push it down your belly. here in this space and give yourself permission to really be present here see if you can just begin to soften the outside world and let all of your focus rest right here on your breath the sensations in your body In your presence here on your mat. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth and just release it. Do that again. Really pull that breath all the way in. And let it go here at the top. Seal your breath. Inhale through your nose, really press it out. On your next inhale, rise to all fours. Bring your shoulders over your wrists. Bring your knees and ankles hip width distance apart. Pull your belly in, draw your chest forward. Lift your tailbone behind you. Take a big breath in here for cow posture. Knit your shoulder blades together. Lift your chin. Feel that nice stretch across the abdomen. Exhale for cat. Round your spine. Tuck your chin. Tuck your tailbone. And push down through your palms and your knees and your feet. And then move back and forth here. Inhale to lift the heart. Lift the tail. Exhale. Round to curl. And just ride your breath. Take your time. If it feels good, maybe rock forward and backward. Add any additional movements that feel really nice and that lend to you warming up through your spine and awakening in the spaces of your body. And then find some stillness here. Lengthen through the spine, tuck your toes and just elevate your hips, begin to find downward facing dog. Pedal out through your feet, bend and straighten the knees and then just fall into some stillness here. Really draw that breath in. Slide your shoulders down and away from your ears. Press down into your feet, into your palms. Relax your head. Inhale, roll forward to a plank. And as you exhale, come all the way to your belly. Bring your chest, the tops of your feet, your thighs down, plug your elbows into your side. And inhale, pull your heart up. Find a baby cobra posture. Pull your shoulder blades together behind you. Tug the elbows in tight. 
Draw your chest and your chin slightly forward. Press your toes down into your mat. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the chin. Allow the spine to relax. Again, tug the elbows into your body. Inhale, pull your chest, your heart forward. Slide all that energy down your spine. Take a breath in. Exhale to lower the chin. One more time. Inhale, lift your chin, lift your heart. Maybe begin to press into your palms, but continue to pull the elbows in towards your side body. Cobra posture. Keep engagement here in the top of your shoulders. Gaze slightly forward, maybe chin lift slightly. Take a breath in. Exhale to lower the chin, tuck the toes. Press up and find downward facing dog. Look forward on your inhale. As you exhale, walk your feet to the front of your mat. Find standing forward fold here. Bend your knees generously and just lay over your thighs. Relax your head. And if you like, you can hold on to opposite elbow creases, gently rock side to side, or just stay still. Or maybe wrap your arms around the back of your legs. Just let all of your weight from your week hang heavy off of your hips and ease its way towards the floor. Press into your shins, find a halfway lift here on your inhale, draw your shoulders back. Exhale and fold over your thighs. Rise on your inhale, sweep your hands overhead, stand up super tall. Exhale, thumbs slide into heart center. Keep your gaze forward, nice and easy. Inhale, hands to the sky, gaze up. Urdha Stasana, let your palms touch. Press your energy into your palms and then send that energy straight up through your fingertips. Squeeze down the length of your legs, keep a softness in the knees, but find engagement through the front of your thighs and your glutes. Inhale here. Forward fold, exhale. Swan dive or fold your hands through heart center as you ease your way down over your thighs. Halfway lift, inhale, bring your shin, hands to your shins. Exhale, plant your palms and find your way to downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Inhale, roll forward to a plank and pause. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, bend your elbows, come halfway down in the arms. Rise, inhale, upward facing dog, press into your palms. Draw your chest forward, knit the shoulders together. Exhale, find downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Inhale, look forward. Find your way to forward fold, make your way to the front of your mat. From here, take a halfway lift, draw the shoulders back. Exhale and fold. Rise, take your hands overhead, send your gaze high. Exhale, hands into heart center. Inhale, reach high, palms touch, gaze up, strong lift. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale, shoulders back. Exhale, make your way to downward facing dog. Ground your palms, send your hips skyward. Inhale to a plank, pause here nice and strong, just hold it. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, bend your elbows, come halfway down. Upward facing dog is the inhale, shoulders back. Downward facing dog is the exhale here. Take a breath in and a nice breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or walk to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, reset the spine. Exhale and fold, dive over your legs. Inhale to rise, sweep your hands overhead. Hands come to heart center, breathe out. Inhale, reach your hands high. Send your gaze up. Forward fold, exhale, lead with your heart. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, downward facing dog, step to the back of your mat. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, come halfway down. Upward facing dog, lift the heart. Downward facing dog, hips to the sky. 
really nice inhale send your right leg to the sky press up through the heel and then on the exhale bend the knee roll the hip open find scorpion dog just let your right heel kind of hang behind you lift your right knee higher and then press down firmly through both palms feel that stretch across the front of your right hip take an inhale exhale pull the right knee towards your right elbow lean forward into a plank keep that connection here inhale send the right leg high three legged like downward facing dog press up through the back of your leg on your exhale low lunge pull the right knee forward and plant the foot underneath your right knee draw your shoulders back send your gaze slightly forward on your next breath in shift your body weight forward float your left heel behind you single leg halfway lift now if you have blocks or props this is a super helpful place to use them right if you might be feeling a little tight this morning and the floor feels a little further away than you would like this can be super helpful take a breath in exhale left foot meets right at the front of your mat forward fold drop into a chair inhale hips down hands to the sky draw your shoulders back lift your heart look down make sure you see all your toes and squeeze that energy between the legs nice fire up the strength through the back side of your body pull the tailbone slightly down breathe easy inhale to rise float your left knee here draw your right leg strong and straight flex your left toes towards your left knee and level your left thigh parallel to the mat exhale figure four across the left ankle over your right knee draw hands into heart center that's it flex your left foot draw the shoulders back keep a nice long spine right from your tailbone to the crown of your head you want this nice flat diagonal line right draw your lower belly in open up your left knee take a breath breath in exhale sink a little heavier into the right leg inhale to rise float the left knee here hands to the sky exhale send the left toes back find a crescent lunge Janayasana high here with your left knee lifted squeeze the left thigh strong steer both your shoulders and hips forward at the front of your mat really get that stretch here on the left hip this time take a breath in exhale open a warrior two just turn the left toes out maintain the bend in your right knee pull the shoulder blades together turn your gaze over your right palm find your breath again here press down actively through your feet squeeze your heels towards one another inhale reverse warrior sweep your right hand up to the sky stretch your fingers high rest your left hand lightly on your left thigh open up the right side body take a breath in exhale extended side angle bring the right elbow down to your thigh send the left hand overhead turn your chest towards the sky option to stay in this variation or begin to stretch the left arm all the way overhead Create that diagonal line from your left wrist to your left ankle. Breathe in. Stay strong through your legs as you exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Sweep the right hand up high. Lift, gaze up. Exhale, windmill down. Palms frame your right foot. Low lunge. Send your right leg up to the sky. Three-legged downward facing dog. As you exhale, shift forward to a plank, but keep your right leg lifted, heel in line with the back of your head. Breathe in here. Shift forward, come halfway down in the arms, Chaturanga Dandasana. Now place the right foot down, inhale, upward facing dog, shoulders back. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Big breath in and out left heel to sky inhale three-legged downward facing dog bend the knee roll the hip open scorpion dog draw your left heel towards your glute pull the left knee higher and then push your left shoulder down towards your mat to level it with your right 
Big breath in here. Exhale, lean forward, connect your left elbow or left knee to your left elbow into a plank. Hold that position. Inhale, three-legged dog, left heel to the sky, point your toes down. Exhale, it's the low lunge. Pull the knee forward and then plant that left foot beneath your left knee. Shift your fingers forward. Balance here. Float your right heel behind you. Option to use your props. Your left knee should be mostly straight beneath you. Press your right heel back, point your toes down. Pull your heart forward, flat spine. Inhale. Exhale, bring your right foot to meet your left, forward fold. Drop down into your seat, inhale, chair posture again. Nice and strong in the legs, chest lifted. Now with your chair posture, you wanna be careful not to flare the lower back too much, right? We wanna pull the tailbone down rather than lift it up which might feel kind of opposite of what you want to do. But that pull of the tailbone down actually engages your lower abdominals and that's kind of, that's what's gonna help support the lower back, as well as your pelvis here in this posture. So pull down, lift up through the rib cage, breathe here, and out. This time, take your right knee lifted, inhale. Run that thigh parallel to your mat, press your left leg strong and straight. Exhale, so your figure four. Right ankle over your left thigh. Pull the thumbs into your chest and then push your chest up into your hands. That little energy transfer here will help create some stability in the torso, which will transfer down into your lower body. Allow the right knee to open and then sit more heavily into your left leg. Breathe here and out. Inhale, float the right knee, take the hands to the sky, gaze forward, find that balance, find that center. Exhale, press back through the right heel, land it here. High crescent lunge, left knee stays bent, hands to the sky. Dial your hips so they point forward and then press your left shin to the front of your mat. Breathe in. When I was young, Exhale, warrior two, open up the right toes. Run your arms right over your mat and extend out long through your reach. Bring your shoulders to stack over your hips. Press your left knee open. Take a breath in. Maybe sit a little heavier into your lunge. Maybe nothing changes. Just feel it actively here throughout the length of your body. Inhale your left hand to the sky. Reverse warrior. Rest your right hand lightly. Right? No pressing into the right thigh. This is just kind of hanging out here. But really lift up through your left side body. Gaze up towards your hand. Feel that stretch here in the left side body. Inhale, exhale, side angle, left elbow down, right hand to sky. And then turn your heart skyward. Drop their left, or excuse me, drop your right hip down. Maintain, or you can sweep the right arm past your cheek here. Extended side angle. And stretch through the side body. Take an inhale. Press down through the outer edge of your right foot as you exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left hand sweeps across the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Palms down to your mat. Send your left leg high, three-legged downward facing dog. Exhale, shift forward. Keep that heel lifted. Toes are pointed. Take a breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Come halfway down on the arm. Inhale, both feet to your mat. Heart lifts. Upward facing dog. Exhale, hips to the sky. Downward facing dog. Big breath here. And release. Again, inhale. Exhale. Do one more. And we'll flow this little series of postures. Take it easy, do more, do less, totally up to you. Inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, scorpion dog, bend the knee, really pull the heel toward your glute. Stay for one inhale, 
Exhale, right knee to right elbow, shift forward to a plank, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog, right heel to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, right knee steps forward, plant the foot underneath your chest. Shift forward, inhale, single leg halfway lift, point your left toes down. Exhale, left foot meets right, forward fold. Chair posture, inhale, drop the hips to lift the chest. Stay on the exhale. Lift your left heel or knee, breathe in. Figure four, cross the ankle over your thigh, hands to heart center. Inhale, float the left knee, stand tall. Exhale, press the left toes back, find your way into a high lunge. Breathe in here. Exhale, warrior two, open up your left toes, spread your reach. Inhale, reverse warrior, right hand to the sky. Exhale, extended side angle, bring the right elbow down and the left arm overhead. Stay for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, reverse warrior, right hand up and across the sky. Exhale, low lunge, bring the hands down to frame your right foot. Left heel to sky, three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale, keep the leg high. Ekapada Chaturanga Dandasana, come down halfway in the arms. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, pull the tail high. Left heel to sky, inhale. Scorpion dog, bend the knee, roll open the hip. Stay for the breath in. Exhale, left knee to your left elbow, shift forward, hold. Inhale, send the left leg high. Low lunge, pull the knee and plant the foot here. Inhale, single leg halfway lift. Draw your fingers forward, pull your right heel up behind you. Exhale, forward fold, right foot meets your left at the front of your mat. Chair posture, drop into your seat. Lift your chest and hold. Stay on your exhale. Inhale, float your right heel here, or right knee here. Exhale, figure four, cross the right ankle over your left knee. Sit, hold. Inhale, stand it up tall. Exhale, press back through your right heel. Land those toes softly, quietly, high lunge. Breath in. Warrior two, open up the right toes as you exhale. Left hand to sky, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, any variation that feels good. Stay for the inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, take your left hand to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, draw the hands forward, frame your left foot. Left heel to sky, three-legged downward facing dog. Keep the squeeze of the left glute. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, but keep that left leg lifted. Inhale, upward facing dog, both feet to your mat. Downward facing dog, breathe out, hips to the sky. Take a breath in and a breath out. Again, inhale, right leg to sky. Exhale, scorpion dog, bend the knee. Hold it here. Option to stay or take wild thing, drop the right heel behind you, press into both feet, lift your chest, reach your right arm over your head. Pull your hips to the sky, press strongly through both feet and really ground your left arm, your left palm into your mat. Maybe let your head hang behind you. Take another breath in. On the exhale, lower the hips slightly. Drop your right hand to your mat. Send your right heel to the sky, three-legged dog. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to right elbow, pause here. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, pull the knee, plant the foot, hold it here. Shift forward, inhale, rise here. Single leg halfway lift. Option to stay or bring your hands towards your heart. Airplane posture, two straight legs, heart forward. Pull the shoulder blades together, maybe fly your arms in any variation you like. One more breath in. Exhale, left foot meets your right. Find chair posture right away. Sit down into it. Hands to the sky. Breathe here. Inhale to rise the left knee. Go right into that figure four here. 
hands down into your heart sit the hips back flex that left ankle all right that helps keep some stability there protects that knee joint option to stay or lean forward chest to your shin hands to the mat or blocks right if you have blocks brings the ground a little closer to you you can begin to straighten your right leg bow down over your right thigh with the figure four legs up to you Take one more breath in, begin to bend the right knee if you took it there. Hands return back to your heart center. Rise on your next inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, press the left toes back. High lunge here and hold. Hips point forward. Arms stretch to the sky. Squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, warrior two, open up the left toes, hold. Keep a nice squeeze in the back, chin lifted, reverse warrior, inhale, stretch high. Exhale, extended side angle, bring the right hand down, and dial that left arm up and over your face. Breathe. Reverse warrior, right hand up. Low lunge, frame your right foot, hold it here. Right leg to the sky, three legged downward facing dog. Option to stay as you are, or if you're comfortable with chin stand, move towards that, lean forward, pull up through your right heel, chin to your mat, left foot meets the right. Chaturanga Dandasana is next. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog here. Big breath in and out. Left heel to sky, inhale. Scorpion dog, let that hip hang open. Option to stay just as you are or move into wild thing. Drop the left heel behind you, both feet to the mat. Squeeze through your spine to lift your heart. Send your gaze up and over your head towards your reach. One more breath in, release the hips as you exhale, bring your left hand down, left heel to sky, inhale. Exhale, shift forward, left knee to left elbow. <sighs> inhale, send the leg high. Low lunge, breathe out, left knee forward. Single leg halfway lift is the next breath in. Stay as you are, maybe make your way into a variation of airplane. Hands can come to your heart, hands can fly, your arms can bind, but reach the crown of your head forward, pull your chest forward and press back through your right heel. Take another inhale, draw the right foot forward, land in chair, exhale. Breathe into it, inhale to rise the right knee up, figure four, exhale right ankle over your left knee. Hold it right there. Pull the shoulders back. Pull up through the chest. And then begin to drop down over your shin. Maybe hands to your mat. Maybe a straight left leg. Breathe here. Slowly begin to unwind. Drop the hips. Hands to your heart. Inhale to rise. Float the right knee. And then press back through that heel. High lunge. Inhale. Warrior two. Fan your arms open. And press out. Reach. Reverse warrior, inhale. Sweep the left hand to the sky. Extended side angle, bring that left arm down and then dial the right arm up and over your cheek. Breathe in here. Inhale, reverse warrior, left hand up. 
bring it down low lunge as you exhale left heel to sky inhale three-legged downward facing dog stay or take shin chin stand shift forward tuck your elbows to your side inhale chaturanga dandasana upward facing dog downward facing dog We'll meet in downward facing dog here with your hips nice and high. Breathe in and out. Inhale, roll forward to a plank. Exhale, come all the way down. Breathe out. Now from here, sweep your arms out to the side. Fingertips down by your hips. Pull your chest up. Fly here, reach your fingers towards your heels. Now, lift your heels. Nice strong engagement through the spine. Fly here, lift here. Breathe in. Exhale, lower, relax. Do this again. Inhale, lift your chin, draw the shoulders back, reach your fingers towards your heels. You can keep your feet down. If you'd like, you can lift your legs. Lift even the knees off of your mat. Press your belly button down. Pull up through the rib cage. One more inhale. Exhale, lower the chin, relax, release. Bring your hands under your shoulders, press back, child's pose. Let your spine round. Feel your hips sink behind you. Relax your arms into your mat. Nice. Inhale, lift your forehead. Crawl your hands to the right side of your mat. Extend your left leg out to the side. Reach your left hand high. Side plank here. Left leg lifts. I'll turn slightly. Right, so we get that left leg lifted. Reach high. Nice. Breath in. Exhale, knee comes back in. Sweep your hands to the other side. Left palm down. Right leg extended. Right hand high. Side plank nice and strong. Breathe in. Exhale, crawl through center. Side plank again, left leg lifts, left arms up. Exhale, release. Last time here, left palm down, right leg up, right hand, right leg lifts. Slowly release, come back to child's pose, knees down, arms forward. Baby camel, rise to your knees, toes together. Spread your knees just slightly, fingertips just behind your feet. Lift your chest, press into the knees to lift the hips up. Eyes up. Squeeze your shoulders together. Maybe let the head hang back. Breathe here. Slowly bring your chin back to your chest. Lower your hips. Walk your hands forward. Find your way to downward facing dog. Hips to the sky. Ground your feet. Breathe here. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Low lunge, pull that knee forward, gently plant the foot and stay here. Shoulders back. Nice job. Inhale, standing splits. Take your left heel to the sky. Bow down over your right leg. Press your chest towards your thigh. And then pull your left heel up behind you. As you exhale, float your left foot down to meet your right. Inhale, chair posture. Hips down, chest lifted. This time, bind your hands at your lower back. Press your palms together. Keep that nice, strong press. Peel the shoulders down your back. Inhale. 
As you exhale, bow. And just fold. Nice and easy. Keep your nice firm grip. Release your hands. Inhale, chair posture. Breathe here. Sit a little lower as you exhale. Hands through heart center, lift your heels, open knees. Stay for balance or work through crow. Hands to your mat. Lift your toes behind you, grip your fingers into your mat surface. Round your spine, squeeze your belly. Gaze forward, really pull your chin to the front of your mat. That will help a lot. Then actively squeeze your elbows towards one another. We'll meet in forward fold here as you're ready. Just release over your legs, hang loose. Take a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Plant your hands and step your feet to the back of your mat. Option to stay or float, take a vinyasa, maybe chaturanga dandasana for your upward facing dog and your downward facing dog. Breathe here. Inhale your left heel to the sky. Low lunge, exhale, pull the knee forward, plant the foot. Ground your palms, draw your shoulders together behind you. Standing split, lean over your left thigh and pull your right leg up behind you. Think of a squeeze in the back of your body here. Breathe easy. One more breath in. You're gonna float your right foot down to meet your left. Forward fold. Chair pose. Inhale, lift the heart. Breathe into your midline. Find that strength in the back of your body. Find your hands at your back. Hold this nice and firm grip. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale and fold. Dive forward. Release your head. Keep your fingers nice and strong. Really tighten up your grip. Open up your chest. Open up your shoulders. Slowly release the hands. Chair posture. Inhale. Sit down into your legs. Option to stay here. Bring your hands into heart center. Lift the heels. Balance here, or take crow, hands to your mat, knees to the back of your upper arms, lean forward, take flight. Maybe it's just one foot today. Maybe it's just the toes on the mat and you're feeling it out. Forward fold, lower your feet, release your head. Halfway lift, inhale. Let your palms find downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Option to stay or take your vinyasa. Final one of your practice today. So make it a good one if you do do it. Or just enjoy your stillness and down dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, half pigeon pose, bring the knee forward, open it out, lay the shin behind your wrists. Ease your left knee down, rise tall. Square your energy, square your hips and your body weight here. And then as you're ready, maybe extend forward. Lay down on your mat. Rest your forehead. Breathe here. this doesn't feel good today, maybe lay on your back, cross your right ankle over your left knee, and then pull your left thigh into your chest. Take one more breath here. Walk your hands 
in. Really nice. And then press your right leg to the sky. Downward dog, just shake it out here. Ease the leg down. Pause, take a breath here. Left heel to sky, inhale. Half pigeon pose, Ekapada Raja Kapatasana. Knee to the back of your left wrist. Slide the right leg down and back. And then as you're ready, descend, yes? Lay over the leg. Bring your forehead down. Square your hips down to your mat. If you're laying on your back for the supine version, press the back of your hips down into the mat before you pull the right thigh into your chest. your way back to downward facing dog. Move your left leg just a little bit and then settle here for your final downward dog of practice. Breathe up to lift the hips. Exhale, settle the weight into your palms and your feet. Take one more breath here and then slowly, easily make your way onto your seat Bring your feet forward and lay on down here. From here, gather your knees into your chest and just hold, maybe rock side to side, let that feel good. Press your feet into the mat, pull your shoulder blades together and find bridge pose. Feet hip width distance apart. Shoulders are squeezed together beneath you to hold the weight of your body. Tighten up through your inner thighs just a little. Relax your face. Lift your hips just a little bit higher, breathe in. Exhale, melt your spine to your mat. Bring your feet together, knees out to the side, and bring your arms out to the side. Close your eyes. Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined, bound ankles posture. Let this posture open up through your hips. Feel that gentle back bend in your lower spine. Relax the thighs. Take another bridge posture, bring your feet together, or rather bring your feet hip width distance apart, arms at your side, palms up, squeeze the shoulders together and then lift your hips, press into your feet, energetically squeeze your thighs towards one another. Maybe take a bind this time, fold your shoulders towards one another beneath you, and then press your palms into one another. Arms are strong and straight. That tension through your arms and your shoulders is what holds all the weight here. Breathe in and out one more time. On your exhale, release your bind, melt your spine down. Broken bridge, knees together. Wiggle your feet to the outer edges of your mat. And then close your eyes. Again, if they're not still closed, arms out to the side. Bring your feet just on the inside edges of your mat. Point your knees to the sky. Open your arms out wide like wings. Now take your knees, push them to the left side of your mat. Feel that gentle twist in the spine, that nice yummy stretch on the front of your right hip. Inhale, knees to center. And fold the knees now to the right side of your mat. Push 
push your left knee down and away from you. Inhale, roll through center and take it again. Knees point towards the left side of your mat. Back through the center, inhale. And exhale, knees to the right. Draw your knees through center, pull them into your chest here, and just hold for a moment. Gently round your forehead up. Slowly release. If there's any other final postures that you need or you want, feel free to take them now. Otherwise, meet me here in Shavasana, stretch your legs long. Relax your arms at your side. Close your eyes and turn your palms up to the sky. Relax your breath. Maybe pull your shoulders together beneath you. Soften your breath. Let your whole body relax, become loose. Let the breath move easily here. Relax your face. And just for a few moments, find yourself at peace and quiet. start to move. Just begin to deepen your breath here. Feel that breath move across your body. And slowly re-energize. Bring life back into your fingers and your toes. Take a long body stretch as you're ready. Sweep your arms overhead and point your toes. Release your lower back from your mat. Take your time. Roll to your side. And use that as a place to rise. We'll meet in a seat. Sit comfortably. Bring hands to heart center. Close your eyes still. And sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. Nice, easy breath out. Touch your thumbs to third eye center. Thank you for sharing in this time, this practice, this movement, this breath. I appreciate you sharing your energy, even through this distance, and joining to meet and celebrate the amazing abilities that we have of just simply moving and breathing. The student and the teacher me season honors the same that is within you. Namaste.